Potter says, Last time I spoke about a film, it was for The Promise. This time, I want to speak about a film called Searching, produced by Armenian American Sevo Hanian and Natalie Kasabian. Hi, Michael. Hello. Yo, this is, by the way, really weird and <laughs> awesome that you exist. I had no idea that you were out there making videos about Armenian culture, but Very thank you. Cool. Seriously. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this film because not only does it have great ratings online, currently 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, 93% now actually. It also has ties to both the Armenian American and Asian American communities. The film star, John Cho, maybe you know him from Star Trek or Harold and Kumar, actually went to Hoover High School in Glendale, California, which just happens to be 80% Armenian. So my first question, of course, is could you tell me a little bit about Searching? Okay, so Searching is a feature film. It's a thriller about a father searching for his missing daughter. And the way he goes about looking for her is that he breaks into her laptop to try and find clues. And in the process of breaking into her laptop and finding information, he learns things about her that he never imagined he could ever learn about his daughter. And the really cool thing about the movie is we decided to tell it by using the devices we use every day. So the whole play, the whole movie takes place on screen. So it's laptop screens, iPhone screens, everything you use in your everyday life. And make no mistake, the movie is a thriller at its core. It's really like tense and exciting and suspenseful. And it kind of has a lot of twists and turns in there that'll make it a really intense movie going experience. But most importantly, it has a lot of heart and emotion. Exactly. So I was looking online at critics reviews of your film and I saw that Variety said that searching gives a roller coaster of emotions within the film's first few minutes. And kind of thinking about those early memories, I was wondering, do you have any positive memories of Armenian culture growing up? For me, I mean, I, I went to Armenian school from first grade through eighth grade. So uh, all my childhood memories, you know, just growing up are really associated with Armenianness and uh, you know, just joking around with friends in Armenian. So it's all, all, all my memories growing up are very intertwined with Armenian culture. And by the way, fun fact, we shot a lot of the movie searching in your Armenian school that we, that you grew up in. We did. We needed a middle school and a church on the same day. <laughs> and we we're like, how are we going to find that? Oh, duh. My Armenian, Christian Armenian school. <laughs> Thank, that you, had a church. Armenian Thank school. you, Armenian Thank you, Armenian. Uh, and uh, it's funny, I remember when we saw the movie the other night at the art that, and you had your friends with you, and they had no clue watching the movie that that was your own school, right? Yeah, they, their jaw dropped. And, or, or I think somebody pointed out in the credits, they were like, oh, why yeah. did you like, why did you think Merdinian? Which, that's a messed up question, because I should be <laughs> thanking them for a lot of things. Um, and I was like, we shot it at Merdinian. Anyway. Uh, and then for me, like, a big formative part of my, like, childhood was I spent 10 years as a part of a co-ed Armenian scouts thing called Hominet Men, which was just kind of like a way to bring Armenian kids together and we did a lot of camping and scouting and things like that. It's kind of where I learned a lot about leadership and things like that. And it's also where I kind of started making my first films when I was still in high school. What was your scout school called? Ari Hing, baby. <laughs> so in Searching, there's a minor character named Mrs. Shahinian, who is played by Sylvia Manassian, who of course is Armenian. What's the story behind that? Mrs. Shahinian. So in the story of Searching, David at one point gets in touch with his daughter, Margot's piano teacher, Mrs. Shahinian, to see if maybe Margot's in a piano lesson. Uh, and the voice actress of Mrs. Shahinian is, is a woman named Sylvia Manassian, but the photograph that we use to portray Shahinian is actually not Sylvia. It's actually my mother, uh, Varto Yohanian, who, you know, she's in the movie. Like, all of our parents and friends are basically in all over this movie. Lots, lots of Armenian last <laughs> names. Lots of Armenian last names. And... Uh, we figured it'd be kind of distracting to name the character of Artu Yohanian because my last name, so we put Shahinian, which is my mom's maiden name. And neither one are actresses, but we drag them in to do this. And Sylvia Manassian is actually the founder of the ARPA International Film Festival, and she's the sweetest and has been a big supporter of us yes. over the years. And uh, the funniest thing was we, we brought her in, and, you know, we... we wanted to pay her for her work and, and have to pay her for her work. Not a lot uh, of money, though. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty small indie production. <laughs> yeah. And she was so cute because she didn't want to take it. She's like, can I? Can you guys write this to charity? And we were like, no, we have to give it to you. We were like, we wish we could, but you have to take this money. Yeah. So thank you, Sylvia, seriously. Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and uh, Speaking of the cast, one incredible thing about Searching is that it features an Asian-American family, but the story could really be about anyone. So how did you go about choosing an Asian American family for the story? Okay, so the way we went about casting Searching is we actually wrote the script for John Cho. 
Uh, in the script, it says David Kim. Our intention as a team was always to cast an Asian actor in the role, and in our minds, it was always going to be John Cho. The reason they're Korean in the movie is just because John's Korean. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, there, I'm not going to lie, there's probably moments that people ask us a couple times, why did we want to cast, uh, you know, an Asian American family in this movie that's not necessarily about Asians? And our only question, was, our only answer was always, why not? Yeah, and, and I, I think, too, um, one thing that the three of us kind of have in common is we grew up, you know, watching big Hollywood movies, action movies, thrillers, you know, uh, a wide range of, like, genre films, and we never really saw people that looked like, you know, the people in our homes, like, in our families, and so it was important to us to reflect that, um, and, you know, there's a lot of movies that are about diversity, and, and that's, you know, the, the content, the conflict is, is about that and comes from that. This movie isn't one of them, um, and and we we like that fact. We like the fact that they just happen to be an Asian American family. Any Armenian actors in your upcoming films? We're all working right now on our next movie that does not have any Armenians, at least on screen. But after, but the movie afterwards that we're developing and Anisha and I are gonna write soon so that we can all make it is is gonna have an Armenian character as one of the lead actors. A very badass Armenian character. Yeah, more on that in like a year probably. Sev, one movie you made was in the Armenian language called My Big Fat Armenian Family. <laughs> Could you talk a little bit about that movie? Okay, so My Big Fat Armenian Family is a very special movie for me. Uh, a classic. A classic. When I was growing up, I wasn't sure I would ever become a filmmaker. I didn't necessarily have the background or the family connections or even the money. So I didn't quite pursue it. And then about 10, 11 years ago, I started making these little YouTube videos poking fun of my family out of love. And I put them on YouTube. These are videos like me with my dad's home video camera, very low budget, like no one else was involved except for me and the actor is... Michael, if you haven't seen him, you should check oh, it out. Oh, you would love this, so Mike, funny. seriously. And uh, and they kind of blew up. They kind of got viral. And, and I, I, I turned the videos into a movie I made called My Big Fat Armenian Family that I spent $800 on. I wrote, directed, shot, edited, produced. I did every job except for makeup. And then the makeup artist quit. So I did that too. It was one of those productions. And the end result was this like little tiny movie that kind of got a cult following and I, I screened it and I got made some money selling DVDs and as a result of that I I got the financial money to pursue filmmaking in film school but it also gave me the sense of empowerment that I could actually pursue becoming a filmmaker for real so much love to the Armenian community for supporting me on day zero so searching takes place in Northern California San Jose and Natalie you graduated from the University of Southern California where you helped lead the Armenian Students Association. Do you still have any memories from that? ASA, what can I tell you about ASA? <laughs> um, it was incredible. Like so many of my fun memories from college were, you know, ASA events and parties and like selling pastries, uh, Armenian pastries <laughs> at school to raise money. Uh, but probably the most memorable thing was that I actually met Sev at an ASA event. Uh, it was like this career night event thing. And he came and we were trying to talk to each other all night and then he was I just remember he was really excited because he had just finished writing this script not not searching it was another idea with Anish who I hadn't met yet and he was so excited that he couldn't help but pitch it to me but I actually cut him off halfway through the pitch and was like I know how that story ends and I I pitched you back right like the yeah you pitched story. our own pitch back to me and was, was like how did you know what we were gonna how did you know what I was gonna say yeah yeah and so we were just like kind of amazed that I guess we have the same storytelling sense and then we started. and then she had the balls to do that yeah and um <laughs> thank you and then yeah we just started hanging out after that and i met anish shortly after so thank you asa thank you asa searching features the use of social media sites such as reddit which i know sev you're an active user of uh the co-founder of reddit alexis ohanian shares your last name have you ever met and if not what would you say to him Oh man, I love Reddit. I'm on that site all day long. Uh, and no, I've never met Alexis. Uh, I've heard of him quite a bit, obviously. My cousin Shant Ohanian, my cousin Shant, and his wife Silva, I think had dinner with Alexis one time. I think they met mm -hmm. him at an event and they were like, hey, we have the same last name. And then they took him to a great restaurant in Glendale called Rafi's Place, which in my opinion is the greatest restaurant of all time. Uh, and no, I, I, if I ever met Alexis, I'd probably say thanks, man, for making Reddit. It's, uh, it's served a lot of purposes in my life and also wasted a lot of my time. But still, thank you so much. Well, 
A salute to Mr. Ohanian. Both of you. Uh, well, uh, back to the film critics. Rolling, St Rolling Stone. <laughs> Rolling Stone calls searching an exceptional feature that does the impossible. Uh, what is a seemingly impossible thing you want to accomplish next? Okay, impossible things. Uh, I think our next movie, our next film that we're preparing right now, and we're working on it actively on opening weekend of searching, is, uh, and I can't talk too much about it yet, obviously, but like we're planning on doing another example of something that hasn't quite really been done properly in filmmaking before, and it's going to have a lot of challenges. Hopefully it's not impossible, because we're hoping to actually achieve it. But that's, I think that's our answer. And world peace. <laughs> world peace. <laughs> Last question. Are there any similarities between Korean culture and Armenian culture? Yeah, I would say, I mean, like, like a lot of, like, immigrant cultures in, in the States, I think they have, they share some similar values, very family-based, uh, really value hard work. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally. But I, I think that relates to a lot of, like, immigrant, immigrant yeah. cultures in the, in the States. And also that reminds me, by the way, we just showed Searching last night to a screening. And a, and a Korean woman came up to me and said that the movie was flawless, except for one thing that was wrong. And she said that when we were like, wait, what's wrong with the movie? And she said, there's a huge flaw in your film. And she said, no Korean family would ever have their shoes on in, in the house. We so we messed that one thing up. John, Sorry. John's yeah, but that was on John. Thank you so much, Seven Natalie. I still can't believe I got to do this with you two. It really means a lot to me. And searching really means a lot to the Asian American community. And it's cool to learn about all of these unexpected ties the film has with the Armenian American community. But at the end of the day, I think this film really is something we can all relate to. Michael, seriously, thank you. This was like- <laughs> This is the randomest yeah. interview of all time, but also one it's of the so coolest cool. interviews. And then yeah. your questions were amazing, seriously. Like you've yeah, done you research. did your research. You, you're actually pretty good at internet stalking. No so. one has ever asked me about ASA ever. And it's actually a really good story because it's how the th like three of us met. So. Yeah, there you go. You nailed it. And mm -hmm. if your daughter ever goes missing, you are very well equipped to <laughs> find any information you could find about her online. But thank you for doing the work that you do to kind of talk about Armenian culture. And hopefully yeah. what we're doing is, is a little bit of an in return for you. Thanks, man. All right, later, man. Bye. Bye. Searching is out in theaters everywhere on August 31st, which is this Labor Day weekend. And I can't wait to watch it. And I can't wait to hear what you all think about it.